All right, so my advice for, for you guys at DP level is to really focus on doing your extracurricular activities because that really counts, especially CAS. Um, if you have a strength in any subject, pursue it. Do not be frightened of working harder on the other subjects that bother you. Know that in the long term, these IB credits really count towards your university. I felt that I was very well prepared from being in the IBDP program. I got there with 16 credits, so that set me up pretty well. You should follow your interests and pick your courses based on what you enjoy doing. And make sure that you stay committed in your studies, but also be sure to integrate yourself into the community and participate in lots of events because that's very important to have a good life at KIS. Um, I think you should find your passion. You know, passion is everything. You know, to find a reason why you should go to school. Not because your parents tell you to, but because you really want to go. Everything is all about grades. Everything is about academics. Everything is about, you, be, you become your grades or what your results, your academic results are and and really sometimes you need to look over that. So um, KIS really helped me at university um, because as, as KIS is a really community based school and there were lots to get involved in at KIS whether it's student council or sports that kind of motivated me to go on to join societies and be involved in uh, different areas of university and that really helped uh, with my student life as well. Undoubtedly, the DP program is one of the most rigorous. If you ask any grade 11 and 12 students, they would probably agree with me. Um, going to university as a freshman, I was well prepared. I was ahead of my class because I know how to write essays. I knew how to write citations. And I was able to do data processing with Excel and so on. So that really gave me a, an edge when I, got, when I got to university. Above all, I was able to balance my time and manage my time properly, which I'm sure many of you either are struggling with or are working on getting better at. One of the biggest things that IB incorporates is a huge workload. And you do realize when you step out into the academic or professional world, the amount of labor, mental labor or physical labor that you have to engage in. And KIS has really prepared me to tackle it head on and not be frightened of these prospects. My favorite memory at KIS was, would definitely be the residentials because they were always the most fun to be with your friends and also learning outside the classroom. But I also enjoyed uh, just the teachers themselves and going into classes with my friends. The teachers, the faculty really reminded me of, of what, I, what my potential were um, beyond that, um, beyond the grades, beyond the academics. And, and that's always been my, my favorite memories. Um. Um, my favorite memory at KIS was student council and organizing sports day. Um, got really involved, got to know the whole school as well, and that was a really um, exciting uh, experience that I will always remember at KIS. The graduating class um, prank that we played on the school facility. We all filled in cups with water and lined up the DP staircase with water so no one could go up or down. Quite entertaining. <laughs> Among the many favorite memories that I have at KIS, one has got to be, um, I took a, a couple of days off from school to go to Gonzaga University when I visited originally. And then I flew back during Spirit Week. Um, that day also happened to be the last match, as a, as a last match of football that I've ever played at. So I got back at midnight, but then we went to play against St. Andrews and we, we beat them 4-3. And we won the, the championship that year, so I was very proud. 